nomination. A 9-2-8 for her. Let's go on to Kate Richardson. Her first day score was a 9-5-5. And Kate showing that she, her time is now. We thought she was a future, but no, she's just come in here and taken it by storm. And this will be the test. Which she seems to be passing with flying colors. She's an absolute pleasure to watch on beam. So crisp, and yet everything flows. Important jumps like that gain her big bonus points from the judges. They want to see connections. And Kate has a unique way of absorbing everything on beam. One of the Canadian coaches, Michel Arsenault, calls this the beam muscle. It's that intangible ability that makes you excel on this event. And Kate's got it. She's a natural. Look at the strength, just 16 years old. A lot of poise, a lot of confidence. Now, a little hesitation there, but watch that jump. She arches back completely, loses sight of the beam, but still knows exactly where she is. There's that beam muscle at work. She knows how to absorb the beam and immediately execute the next skill. It almost looks like it hurts, Caroline. She like, does it? <laughs> it doesn't hurt, but the mental strength that goes into a performance like this, right to that double pike dismount, the best part of the routine. Certainly worth a second look. Only a handful of gymnasts in the entire world can perform two back handsprings to a double back in the pike position, just like that. So she is well on her way after completing two events. A hug from Kathy Chappelle, but fast on her heels is this lady, Julie Bouliot, who says her confidence is quickly rising. My strongest event is bars, but at nationals I won on beam. So before I was very weak on beam, but it gave me lots of confidence, and now I know that I can do beam. So they are both my best events. So it's a tremendous time for her confidence to be on the rise, Carol Angela. And in her young developmental training as a, as a novice, as a junior, there was actually a time that Julie was terrified of beam. In fact, she hated it so much, she didn't get on one for almost a year. What is it that strikes fear? Because you say it's the toughest event of all. What is it that strikes the fear in the gymnast? It's so narrow and the chance of failure, so great. The chance of falling, it's everywhere. But look at her now. She is the Canadian champion on balance beam. Julie Bouliot's story is actually one that all young gymnasts can learn from. Never give up, work through adversity. Look at her hang on there. Fear doesn't mean stop, it just means focus on the right technique and Believe in yourself, push ahead through your challenge to the next level. And that's exactly what Julie has done. Well, you can see her left ankle is wrapped. She hurt that a few weeks ago in Montreal. And she, too, is competing in pain. And it's also limited the amount of time she could spend on the balance beam. So training time is so important on this event more than any other. Because of the precision that's required, more practice time is required on balance beam quick little choreographic change to cover a wobble. She could have lost for execution, but she worked it right into her dance. Here's her unique dismount. Gainer double twist off the side of the beam. <laughs> she is delighted, surprised that she could hang on right here. Watch her feet almost off the edge of the beam. Sheer determination. She's not willing to give in. Not today, not now. And she sticks it for a combined total of 9225. And look at that relief on her face as she knows she hasn't had a lot of time to train, but she's well on her way. When we return, we will have two more events, including the floor routine, and we'll check out the veteran, Yvonne Tusek. And we'll meet Kyle Schufelt, an incredible story of courage and perseverance. We'll be right back. For me, to represent Canada at the Olympic Games is a huge deal. It's something that I've wanted to do forever, for about four or five years now. I think that going there and doing my best and showing how Canadian gymnastics has come around, it's gotten so much better in the past. And Michelle Conway has her eye on her goal and dream.
And this is one event where Michelle has already made her mark with the international judges. Excellent balance between valuable tumbling and spunky dance. and bonus points just for the first line. But later, we'll see Teresa. She has to change some of her tumbling due to that ankle injury. For Michelle Conway, the coaching staff at Seneca College selected the music, and it really fits her spunk, her style. She's not afraid to show, so she has fun with that. Now we're getting to the part of the routine that had to be changed due to the ankle pain, lack of training due to the ankle. She's supposed to finish with a D element, a double salto, but a simple double twist today, not risking any injury prior to Sydney. Michelle Conway coming through in a wave to her home fans as they show their appreciation for her. Now, front tumbling doesn't hurt her ankle at all. This is a brand new line. Front full, front full. First time she's done it in competition. Tumbling. Okay, very good first line. Excellent. Very good. Second line, also very well done. Good girl. Now on to the veteran, Yvonne Trusek. She's had a lot of success over the years. I think my coach has a lot to do with it. Um, we both discuss things after each event and before each event, and she tries to calm me down if I get too excited. And uh, basically, I just try to be a little bit serious, focused, and keep my concentration. Well, she's going to need all her concentration today because she fell on her beam. So that was a tough break for her. And this is comeback time. <laughs> and no one can come back better than Yvonne. That is absolutely huge Arabian double front salto. Big music and big tumbling. judges looking at as far as interpretation of the music goes there's no specific score for that but Yvonne and her Florentines are world famous and everyone is looking to her for that expression that unique dance that no one Yvonne could possibly get away with we've talked a lot about ankles Yvonne has both of hers taped Always pushing through. The last line is a big one. She is planning and does a triple twist. <laughs> Yvonne Tusek showing why she is one of the best gymnasts in this country, trying to rebound from falling on her beam exercise but putting in a solid performance here on the floor. This is her second tumbling line. Round off back hands, bring two and a half twists to a punch front. Difficult to do, you have to anticipate that blind takeoff. And she's gonna like her combined total of a 939.